Hey, I'm Sally, Sally J. Smith. I'm a USA Today bestselling author of mysteries and detective novels, and I'm also a freelance fiction editor. And today I want to talk to you about your driving habits. Wait a minute, you're going to say, did I maneuver off the Sisters in Crime uh, YouTube channel? And I'm going to tell you, no, you didn't. <clears throat> the driving that I want to talk to you about <clears throat> is making a left turn. Uh, other people call it thinking outside the box or uh, a surprising turn of events or <clears throat> a hardcore plot twist, ouch, ouch, twist, twist. Uh, but what it turns out to actually be is that it's a way for you to surprise your readers and take them in a different direction to grab their interest and let be with them as you carry them along on a journey that to a destination they didn't even know that they were going to arrive at. Um, you want your readers to be awestruck at the brilliance of your plot twist or your left turn, yet you don't want them to feel manipulated or tricked by what you've done. So what we want to do is foreshadow. We want to leave um, signs, road signs along the way. How's that? We'll leave road signs along the way, subtle clues, if you will, uh, that we're going to cover up partially with bushes and bus stops and things like that so that they don't see them out in broad daylight. And the bushes and the bus stops are going to be things like dialogue and backstory and tiny little things that once they've seen your plot twist, they're going to say, oh, why didn't I see that coming all the time? Um, a big left turn or a plot twist, if you will, can be in the middle of the book. It can be at the end of the book. Uh, in the middle of a book, a good example is Gone Girl. At the end of the book, a good example is Behind Her Eyes or Fight Club. And there can also be multiple plot twists like in um, Midnight at the Bright Ideas bookstore. A left turn doesn't have to be major. It can be something as minor as a character difference. It can be a serial killer who had a normal, happy childhood, and his grisly devices come from something completely away from the four profile uh, serial killer typecast that we see in every novel. It can be as, as small as that. It can also be um, a police captain, tough as beef jerky, but who has a soft heart for every single one of his detectives. He loves them all, old, young, fat, skinny, men, women, black, white, gray, green, blue, purple, LGBTQI, any and all of them. And I may use that someday because I don't think I've ever seen that character before. Maneuvering a left turn can be really hard sometimes. It's um, not always easy. You never, ever, ever want the plot twist to turn out badly. Your readers will always remember it and not in a good way. What works for me is to go where I'm expected to go, straight down the road and then turn to my right 90 degrees and see what I'm looking at. Is it unexpected? Does it fit my characters, my plot story? Is it gonna take my readers to the same destination, only down a different path? The best left turns are hardly ever what I would call easy. And if it's too accessible to you, it probably is something that you wanna pull off on the side of the road and take another look and find another bumpier detour. You don't want it to be easy. You want it to be hard. You want it to be brilliant. Take my word for it. This is the kind of thing that once you look back on it, when you're finished with your novel and you find the route that you've taken so well crafted, you're gonna even wonder if you wrote it. It's gonna be so wonderful. I want you to be fresh. I want you to be original. I want you to avoid the ordinary and the cliche. It's risky, but take the risk. Take the left turn.
that's it. Thanks for listening. Take a look at Sisters in Crime, both national and local, and see what awesome things they can do for you. Ta-ta for now.